Who's pumped for the weekend then, eh? Jay. Yeah, really pumped for the weekend. You've got a, what, a kick around with the boys, haven't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a kick around with the boys, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm off to the Emirates for um, Arsenal versus Brentford. Yes. Um, and I think it's going to be spicier than some people are probably predicting. I don't really know why it's why? not on TV. Just because I've actually rattled a few Arsenal fans with my latest article, oh. I just think that Brentford are in a really, really good place right now. They're mm. unbeaten in nine games in the league. They're playing really well. Um, obviously, Ivan Tony. I think he only Harry Kane and Erling Haaland have scored more in the league than him this season. And I don't want, actually want Arsenal to win the league this year. I think it'd be great. And I think it's been a fantastic narrative and story under Mikel Arteta. But I think some Arsenal fans are probably going to be a bit too arrogant and think, OK, we lost to Everton, let's move on. And now we're going to beat Brentford because we're playing them at home and we beat them 3-0 earlier in the season. And I just feel like it's going to be a much, much tougher contest than, wow. than they're expecting. Jay, I like it. Strong start. Strong start. Calling <laughs> Arsenal fans arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to top that? <laughs> Is that what I said? <laughs> yeah. Another game we can't watch. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Can't have nice things. Nah. Just imagine it. Uh, amongst the other things, Duncan, Wednesday night spectacular, apparently. 2-2 mm. two, two draw at Old Trafford. Here's a stat, actually. Colin Miller saying one of 180 Premier League matches that was not shown in the UK, but, of course, folk overseas can. If only there was some way of accessing their coverage. <laughs> but there literally isn't. Anyway, that, that 180 games is equivalent to 47%, 40, almost 50%. Mm. Maths fans of the entire season's fixtures, which you can't it, watch. That's mad. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. Does it not? I mean, sometimes, sometimes you can't watch a game. Uh, well, you'd like to, but you can't. I don't know. Get over it. Do something else. Read a book. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. This right. No, this country's got. I, last last night I was. Oh, great! United Leeds. Oh, that would yeah. be a great game. And then I yeah. saw it wasn't on. I thought, oh, I'll do something else. I didn't. I didn't sit there thinking, <laughs> how dare they? They take so much of my money, and I can't want the specific Look. thing I want exactly when I want it now. Well, but Tom. They, they do take so much of your <laughs> money. Yeah, Way do. more than they, they take do. of the folk overseas. You get to see know, everything. I, I mean, they do. And that's, mm. those are probably valid points. I just, personally, it doesn't upset me. All is right. It, say you went to... Oh, no, Duncan. Well, we don't all have the social diary of Tom Williams, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, book uh, this, this country does have quite a weird relationship with scheduling football in the sense that okay. in the 80s, when ITV used to show the, the first division games, the, um, they didn't start showing them till after the clocks went... Uh, what do they do in the autumn? Go back... Yes. Fall back. Yes, fall back, good, good knowledge. Um, they didn't start showing them to the autumn because um, someone at ITV thought, well, no one's going to watch live football in the afternoon when they can be in the garden and doing gardening. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait till the clocks go back. So, I mean, there's always been this very, like, reluctance to sort of let people watch the games they want. And I think it's, we've got to a point now where people are used to watching as much as they want and, as you say, paying a lot of money for it. And, it, and particularly a game like Man United Leeds, that should be nailed on for being on telly now I know if you really do want to see a game between them this weekend has got a nice nice surprise for you but it looked like a really good game um, I hear that it was a good game well yeah luckily we found somebody who was able to watch it uh, and uh, they'll be joining us very very Jesse shortly Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> the Totally Football Show podcast is available three times a week bringing you all the football news you could reasonably be expected to care about we've got views we've got stats we've got analysis we've got some of the best football writers around and the whole thing is absolutely free so have a listen on spotify or apple podcasts or all the usual places by clicking on the link below